Top of the morning to you, it's the 18th of March and I'm at the bottom of the Woodstock Road and I'm looking for a bit more street art. That's Gertie's across the road. Do you need any stuff for school, school uniforms, etc, etc. There's supposed to be a bit of street art advertising this uh, this whole area. Well, I just haven't come across it yet. And that's the Congregationalist Church up there. Now this is me on the Woodstock, the Woodstock Road. And the Woodstock Road and the Craigie Road combine. I don't know where one starts and one leaves off, but they combine, and their combined distances are, are two miles. So I'm just panning round, and the police station used to be it was here. Of course, like the old police stations in Belfast, they've all disappeared. Can't can't see a policeman anywhere. Anyway. Look at this, isn't this class? Down the Woodstock, up the Craigie and down the Woodstock, and it's on uh, Willowfield Gardens, Gable Wall, and I think that this was done by Visual Waste. I'm nearly sure it was. And this is a hark back to the way things might have been. 50 years ago or more. But this is this a racing type vehicle. You wouldn't have seen one of those on the roads, I wouldn't have watched But anyway, an, an effort to try and brighten the place up. And uh, money has been provided in Belfast for doing this kind of thing. Uh, from, uh, I think it's the Department of Infrastructure have provided this money and uh, sort of wee village areas, wee communities have, uh, have tapped into this and trying to brighten the place up. So street art is suddenly um, appearing on a whole lot of uh, wee areas that it wouldn't have before. So that's really class. I think this is brilliant. Here's a hardware shop, like open all ours. And uh, oh, God. oh my goodness, that's a series that was on TV. By a man out of the two rounds. I've not seen too many of these uh, hardware shops um, surviving on any street um, in Belfast. And this is uh, Dawson Lake hardware. And Ron Mike Dorian. My man, you know, my goodness. There's Smith's chips. So we're just outside Woodstock Library. And uh, a nice cream shop up here too. I haven't seen any more street art. That's Killowan Street, and this is Fuscalo's. Properly made. We have a field of it many, many times. And uh, sadly, these uh, lot of family run shops on the Woodstock of Craigie have been taken over by charity shops. I must admit that I do go into charity shops myself, but you know, family shops are dying out completely, and uh, we're going to be left with tanning studios, charity shops, batting shops, and tattoo parlors. And that's what an awful lot of our streets are now well across. But that's another video. 
another day. Just moved on up the road a wee piece and this is our Gan Street and it says spin a disc and pensioner and there's two pensioners having a wee cup of tea there and it says Woodstock Rocks <laughs> Oh dear, two pensioners Woodstock Rocks Brightens up the place, I have to say so where does the Woodstock end, Woodstock Road end, and where does the Craigie Road begin? Well apparently it's at, uh, there's Craigie Street, so I think it's maybe this one here. Maybe really two here, I don't know. I think it starts, the Craigie Road starts at Ravenhill Avenue. So I was well pleased at that information because I wasn't quite sure. So there you go. Plenty of life on the Craigie Road. You can hardly get part. You have to go up on the east side streets. A lot of family run businesses still operational. A lot of shops shut today because it's just after St. Patrick's and people are taking another day. Can't really blame them. So there you go. See if there's another wee piece of street art along this, uh, along the Craigie. Not sure who did this piece, um, but there is a tag name on the lady's shoulder. F G B. So if anybody knows who FGB is, let me know. Moved on above uh, Hillsborough Drive and there's uh, this Willow well, Field, what? Funeral Directors and there's Cash Milano Pizza and Grill, there's Willow Field Funeral Home, there's Her Ritz, there's Eric Mercer up Optimist? <laughs> no, what? Uh, Optimist? Op Optimist. A wee bit of street art here advertising uh, I, I care. And then there's a the gate yard. But there's a, a smashing piece of street art up here. Uh, up the Craigie, it says. Now I'll have to get across the route to get that. I'm parked in double yellows. But never mind. And there's the famous Wise Buys, one of the cheapest shopping outlets in Belfast. I buy a lot of stuff at a Wise Buys. And I'm just looking back down the road, and I'm just past uh, Craigie Methodist church on the right hand side which is looking very well. Um, looking pan and past Craigie Roads, the Craigie Road co-op and just across the road from me is Oberon Street. I wonder why it's called Oberon Street. But uh, there's not a piece of street art in there that I, I want to get and of course there's a car parked in front of it, but I'll still get it. Oh. And here it is. Up the Craigie. I couldn't miss getting this. There's no uh, tag name, unfortunately. So I don't know who did this. Ooh, look. And there's the old bike sitting, needs a bit of a clean. Get, a, get round to one of these days. So I'm at Ravenhill Avenue where the Craigie Road starts. 
currently. Um, look at this. This is this is class. Really like this. And I think this was done by somebody called uh, with the tag name Zippy. As far as I know, but that's super. I've just moved on up the road to B and M Bargains. Some residential housing here, but still uh, quite a number of shops. And this is Glendower Street. Um, there's a couple of pizzas here on the side of the Self Help Africa charity shop. And this is by. Uh, I don't think these are actually promoting the, the, the road or anything. CWT. It's, uh, it's pretty good. I like that. It's neat and tidy. It's well, it's well painted. There's a new piece too of a fox. Uh, ARF. I'm surprised that the person didn't put their uh, their tag name on the painting. Maybe they're going to do more, but it's pretty cheery. Maybe they didn't get it finished. I'm not too sure. So, so further wee pieces of street art found on the Craigie Road.